Hey everybody, this is Jim and Crystal with Serpentine Dream. Here we go over another clutch here. We're going to do something a little different, kind of show off the parents of the clutch real quick before we do the clutch. This is the GHI Het Red Clutch. So, our little GHI boy here. He's got a nice little whacked out pattern one. Good little boy. He was the father, and it's the first year I've used him, so he apparently was definitely ready for the uh, challenge. But we have him, and then of course we have the female here, the Hit Red Zanti. She uh, she's a little bit busier of a back pattern than some. Some have a longer stripe of the black area or the more of a cinema kind of area, really, with a lot of red in it. Uh, but her pattern is a lot busier than the norm. Uh, a lot more spots. So, which is why I kind of liked her, too. But she was a good girl. Let us a good clutch. She gave us the twins, or I should say they gave us the twins. So, I'll go and put them back up, and then uh, we'll check out the little babies. And uh, we'll take it from there. And now we'll get to the part you've been waiting for here in the actual babies. Like I said, this is a clutch. You gave me the twins. We got uh, seven eggs, eight snakes. So, and uh, you can tell here the size difference. Size difference here on the little babies. So, um, I'll probably have to wait a few sheds on some of these to be able to tell what they are, and I'll zoom in here in a minute because uh, some of these are kind of throwing me off on if they're het reds or if they're just really, uh, really dark normals. So anyone who's hashed out a bunch of hit red clutches, and it doesn't help that my female has a busy pattern, especially on her back, so that makes it even more difficult here. So um, we'll get to showing you the babies here. You can let me know what you think. Please give your opinions, and uh, we'll get on with the babies. All right, we'll start with the two twins here. Of course, they're uh, GHI. This is GHI hit red Xanthic. So these are the only two that I'm 100% positive are GHI. And I don't think either one of them is exanthic, but um, one of them is a little bit darker than the other one, so who knows. But I think they're both just GHI. Either way, either way they're, they're really neat, pretty cool looking. So I'm going to grab a normal for my last clutch as well, just a, for comparison with my, the rest of my babies. All right, I'm focusing on the other bunch now. This is my normal from the clutch right before this one. And the whole thing with the Hit Red Zancti is it, uh, it reduces yellow. If you really pay attention to a lot of these other snakes, they look really dark compared to the other normal from my last clutch. So there lies the problem, for me anyway. Um, a few of them have some really good dark backs, and um, some of them don't. So, we're going to start here with this little girl or boy. I haven't sexed these yet. See where my dilemma is. The, the backs are just really, really dark. The pattern is pretty wild. And so I don't think none of these others have GHI, but I'm having a hard time telling the... Uh, the head reds. Now, like I said, maybe we'll just take a few more sheds on these. So, we'll see over time. But, uh, so yeah. Put this one off the side. We'll go on to the next one here. Now, this one with all the dark back, pretty sure this one is a head red. So, the first one's kind of got me wondering, but this one here, pretty sure is a head red. Does have a pretty long black stripe all the way down, um, down its back. But like I said, the mom, she has a pretty broken pattern, so that's why some of these other ones are kind of throwing me off. And of course, you got other ones trying to escape. Now 
But either way, good looking baby. Right on to the next. This one doesn't have much of a you know back back stripe like the other ones. Or I should say like the second one. But also compared to normal, it's a lot darker. <laughs> so and so like I said, that's my dilemma on this one is all these babies are really, really dark. So I don't think I got a ton of normals, but also don't think I got basically all het reds either. So like I said, anyone has a lot more experience with het reds, definitely chime in. Definitely looking for some input on this clutch. Alright, move on to the next one here. Another pretty little baby. Again, not a whole lot of stripe on it. Kind of a broken up pattern. Nice little head stamp. And of course, babies are escaping in the other tub. I really like the head stamp on a few of these. It's really neat. Almost looks like a Chinese symbol or something. But another really good looking baby. You guys stay in your tub. There you go, show your little head stamp off. And some of these have a little kind of a little spot right there in the neck too, which is kind of neat. Of course, while I'm doing a video, the skink is literally trying to dig out of the cage, so that would be the thumping noise if you hear it. Alright, and one more little baby here. Well, I have my finger good. Another one with a very busy back. And so the one I showed is I'm positive it was a head red just because the long, long stripe down its back. Um, but most of these do not have that. But the mother doesn't either, so that's kind of what throws me off. But definitely chime in. Give me your input, guys. Let me know what you think. It's always harder when they're uh, when they're your animals. It's easier to get some people who are. Uh, just not looking at them every day, kind of take a peek at them. And this one's a runner. This one's ready to go. All right. I appreciate you guys uh, watching, and any of your comments would definitely be appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.